Welcome back to this episode, everyone. In this one, we are going to begin some assembly. Welcome back, everyone. All right, we are getting closer to getting this thing put together. So what I need, what I just did here, is I put a hundred ohm resistor on the red LED there. I got it all tied in with these ones here. Now I'm just going to work on this in here for the flasher. Uh, so I'm going to use a heat shrink for this line here to so it lines up. So the it's used as a guide. Got the heat shrink in there, just gonna shrink it down on there. like that <clears throat> so I'm just gonna get the length there that I need it's gonna be a little bit longer than it needs to be to begin with later on I can I'll, I'll uh, trim it down Just trying to straighten out this line here just a little bit. There we go. Add it in there. So it'll go along. Uh, inside here. Up until the point here where it pops out the bottom. Now, um, I got to drill out a hole here on the back for the wiring to go through that'll go into the main body here. And then I'll just take uh, the lines, run it through, and same with here, run it through. I'm just going to temporarily put these together on the back here. Just okay. Okay, now I got uh, 30 gauge wire here, red and black. And then uh, for the flasher, I got a different color I'm gonna be using. It's uh, yellow and blue for the flasher so I can tell which one is which. So I'm gonna have a line, I gotta have about that long for each line here. It's better to have too much than not enough. I can't stress that enough, actually. It's have too much than not enough. Okay, now. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, the resistor I'm in in there that I'm using is a hundred ohm resistor.
Okay, so we got those lines there. Those are ready to go. Uh, just got to tie in this in here. Okay, so I got those lines run there. Got those ones tied into the flasher. This is uh, almost ready to be put together. I just got to attach these here. I gotta finish running lines from here. That'll run down into here, and then I can put all of this together. Now I tie these. Actually, where's I tie these two into this. Perfect. All right, now I can glue these two halves together. All right, good. All right, just gonna let that dry first before I attach it. So in the meantime, let's get these uh, lights here all tied in together. Okay, so I got, uh... all right. Now you gotta keep in mind this light right here is a flasher. That does not get tied into the rest of these. Now, um, these ones here are going to have, going to be controlled by one resistor. So I'm going to tie these two in together here first and then go into these ones. Okay, now I've got a uh, 100 ohm resistor I'm using for the reds. Okay, I'm going to put the ores. So this one resistor is going to impede the power to all three of those reds. So all I need is the one. Okay, I'm putting it on the negative terminal. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to connect all the positives here. Okay, looks to be a bit of a mess, uh, but I got all the them tied in. Got that tied, got these three tied into these here, and I got the negative here going into here. So when the main power comes in, it's only going to affect these three LEDs and not anything else. 
I'll probably put the um, the flasher circuit right here when I get it built. Um, so let's just do a quick lighting test. Always pays to do a lighting test before putting it all together. Very nice, very nice. Just need to readjust these a little bit to get them in the right angle. Yeah, look at that, eh? Woo, yeah! Perfect. So now I just need to get my heat shrink on here as a guide for the fiber optic line to the light. Let that cool down a bit. Try and angle the angle the light towards the hole there as best I can. I'm just going to snip it off with it just poking through just a little bit here because I, I can I can trim it down later. I don't want to go all the way down. I want to leave a little bit of a nib. That looks good. All right. Um, I'm not going to put any wiring on, on that particular light just yet uh, until I get that circuit built. Um, yeah. Okay, now moving on to this in here, I'm going to use a really small bit and cut out the plastic in between there so you can see through it. And I'll be putting in a green LED on the inside there. All right, so I got a really, really fine bit on there. Don't know if you can see it. Can you see it now? That'd be like a comparable to a, a, a 0.10 mil fiber optic line. I mean, really, 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 really fine.
There we go. Looks good. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. All right, I squirted that uh, window maker in there just to help with the light diffusion just a little bit. So it looks good. To help even more, I'm going to be putting the, this, uh, this rice paper stuff on. I'm going to cut out a small section to put in there. There it is. And the uh, that window maker is going to act like an adhesion to hold the paper in place. So it's going to look even better now. Because you now you're not going to be able to see with the actual light inside there. It's going to diffuse the light even a little bit more, which is great. So let's uh, get this attached. Good. So I can put the light back here, giving out a larger display. So where is my five mil green, five mil green, 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 I need a five mil green. Green, you want green? I'll give you green. put it right around here so I'm going to shave the head back a little bit Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, time for a quick lighting test. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Ho, 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 That looks so silly. Magnifique. All right, now I'm gonna make uh, just a little bit of a cowling to put over top of this so it doesn't interfere with the lights out front here. Doesn't need to be clean or anything, just big enough to cover the green so it doesn't interfere with the lights. Just round it off here a bit. Yeah, that seems okay.
Okay. I'm not going to put it on just yet because I still have to wire, add wires to this to get hooked into the main part of the body. Um, now I might not need to worry about cowlings. So I'm just going to paint these all chrome silver except for the very tips of the reds. So they, they shouldn't interfere with these because these are going to be plenty bright to overpower anything that would be coming from them. So, get my chrome silver. Yeah, this will work fine. Oh yeah, yep. Just don't paint over the very tips. be any issues so it's gonna add a lot of paint on the back here and just let it dry like this for a while Yeah, one more thing I have to install here is the uh, the power plug. So I was going to put it right around there. I just got to find the uh, the proper central point, the spine, to uh, install to. All right, so it's going to go right about there. Just got to drill at the hole. All right, now I'm just going to Gorilla Glue that in place. I'm gonna use the plug to keep that in place. plastering that in there so I don't want this thing to move at all I'm just going to let that set overnight, uh, so I cannot touch that at all. Now, I got the, the cowling on there, I got the putty in there as well. Uh, let that set overnight, and then I'm going to paint it chrome silver, so no light bleed through at all. Um, and there's still plenty of room for me to hook in the wires. So now i just got to let that set overnight. So while the uh, engineering section or the star drive section is drying, we can work on getting this put together. Right. So I got uh, a negative here.
just needed a little extra length on some of these here. All right. Just going to do the negative here first. Just a quick lighting test here. Let's make sure it's all going to turn on. Looks good. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Now, um, got the, uh, the line here. Tight squeeze there, but I finally managed to get it put together. Just gotta let that dry overnight. Alright, so I'm going to connect this power plug to these lines here. So this pin here is positive, this one here is negative. solder too close to the to the um, fiber optic line there don't want to melt it so go positive um. all right so I'm gonna go positive this way Okay, now I've already got a pre-built plug here where I can do a lighting test on the plug here. Oh, look at that, it works. The plug works, very nice. 
All right. Perfect. Okay. Um, so let's just get this here painted up from silver. Or you could paint it black, whatever. Just as long as it's a color where light won't shine through. Normally, I would paint the entire interiors chrome silver, but because it's such a small model, it really doesn't need it. And the lights are plenty close enough to the um, windows don't really need the chrome silver that's it for this episode everyone i hope you enjoyed in the next one we are going to be working on the exterior for the impulse engines and the torpedo launcher as well as the warp engines please like subscribe comment share and don't forget to click that notification bell for any future uploads if you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. Also, my website, www.epicmodels.com. And don't forget my online store. The link is down below. I'll see you all again later. Bye-bye.